Okay guys, let's have a quick look at another video where we're talking about the hybrid safety or electric vehicle safety fundamentals. So this video today is about the general ways of how to shut down a vehicle. So of course not each method or each um, shutting down procedure is available on all the cars but what you see here on our car train is the yeah it's like a complete overview about the existing shutdown procedures procedures which you will find at the different cars from today also from the past and yeah from the different manufacturers as well of course there's not one one general solution for it so basically everyone can do what you want to do there's more and more um, that the car manufacturers are getting to one solution but nevertheless you found quite a variety of the different versions on the road so just make sure um, this is more about the first responder the emergency side how to shut down because basically when you do it um, inside the workshop you will use like with this car train here you will use a diagnostic tester and shut it down by tester this also includes different shutdown methods but basically um what i want to give you or what i want to tell you today is all the different methods how you can shut down a vehicle so basically let's have a look here so this is a very classical one it's on the low voltage side and yeah you can use all of the low voltage ones so this one and all the others which you see here without gloves because you are not touching the high voltage system this is why it's not orange don't think about this one this is just our tool to put it back into operation so basically you have that system over here and the sticker shows what you have to do just go here pull it out and the system basically will shut down of course if you do it in ready mode and do not shut it down before you will get a high voltage force so always make sure when you shut it down inside the workshop that you follow the instructions which means like shut down the high voltage system before and do anything else what the car manufacturer is asking you but for now it's just about the fundamental uh, function of the different shutdown procedures so this one is used for example by um, audi by volkswagen i guess you will also find it in the skoda or in a seat it's also used by bmw very interesting one here so bmw used back in the day for its bmw i3 at the very first one these one were orange of course they figured out that this is not really smart as as you can imagine, when you think or when you see it's orange, you think it's in direct contact with high voltage and you have to use your PPE. So, the glass, of course. And you could imagine that this is a nightmare to activate this or deactivate it with PPE. So, it doesn't make sense to use the PPE here because you are on the low voltage side. It doesn't have to be orange, therefore. And you see now what they have done they have now chosen a color which is yeah easy to identify that's not part of the high voltage system another version version which is also used by tesla i think tesla are using this at some of their cars at least as their main shutdown procedure uh, mercedes is using it as a yeah as a second procedure for example or as an alternative to shut down the high voltage system this is the so-called cutting loop so the cutting loop is always comes with such a sign and you see all the ones which have the stickers are used to or yeah you can use them as a first responder or for emergency shutdown so this is why you have the fire helmet there on the sticker what's the idea about this cutting loop you should cut it twice so basically do a cut here and do a cut here why is that so that not these both ends can accidentally touch with each other and activate the system again so that you definitely make sure that this is not going to happen inside the workshop when they use this as the main version they just pull it out basically so of course i guess that makes sense hey if they always would cut it inside the workshop as well when there's no emergency case they would quickly run out of cables i guess so another one is of course our first responder fuse systems so back in ready mode 
you see 300 volt are not only inside the high voltage battery but also inside the vehicle everywhere on the high voltage system and now when i pull the fuse again i don't need the gloves here because this fuse is not in contact with the high voltage system so when i pull the fuse depending on the shutdown method so if you have a passive or active discharge this in this kind we have an active discharge the system will shut down ready mode is gone and of course when we are in ready mode before we will have a high voltage fault so I just do this normally, of course, you don't use the things when you're not in an emergency case, you make sure that the car is not in ready mode. I just show it now to you in ready mode that you just see the behavior of the car, that the car really shuts down. Because when we normally leave the ready mode, here will be zero volt anyway, and you won't notice any difference, okay? So let's put that back. You find this fuse also at Volkswagen. I've seen it at Volkswagen, at Audi probably Porsche, so the VAG concern basically, so all the cars around there, they definitely have it. And of course, which you never should forget about, a very classical method, what for example Toyota tells you at the Prius 3 is to disconnect the minus terminal of the 12 volt battery. So here we go basically disconnect this. This is basically the same like shutting down the high voltage system because you take away the power of the 12 volt system. So when you say it with easy words, it's like, um, yeah, disconnecting a signal here basically so that the high voltage system runs out of power and this will automatically lead to open, uh, to open uh, relays or high voltage relays, okay? But just make sure when you use one of these the 12 volt system is still in operation so that means just the high voltage system is shut down but anything else will work which is not part of the high voltage system if you disconnect the 12 volt battery then nothing will work anymore that means you not only take out um, the high voltage system out of the game but you also um, this power or shut down the 12 volt system. That means any, anything what needs electrical um, power won't work anymore. So window wipers, for example, electrical um, car, car hood or anything like that. So the car boot cell, when you want to open this, this won't work anymore. Also, when you have an electric, um, an electric central locking system, this also won't work anymore. So there are, for example, you have electrical door handle or door locking system, which runs electrical and not pure mechanical, which you find on a Tesla, for example, or even on, on um, the latest Audi models. And this won't work anymore then. So this is where you would need then an emergency access, basically, or emergency uh, function which you can activate pure mechanically to open the door, for example. So it's inside the course for the Tesla, for example, you will find such a mechanical door handle, basically, when you have broken the side window here or when it's opened, and then you will find it around here. So here you will find like an, um, yeah, like a mechanical, mechanical handle which you can pull and this will open the door when the 12 volt system is gone okay and in the last instant we have here our very classical high voltage service disconnect basically you don't see it anymore on modern cars you found that on later mo on later models of the audi q5 or on the toyota prius so the prius 4 even has a smaller version of this this is orange and this has to be orange as you can see it's part of the high voltage battery so that means it, it is directly in contact with the high voltage battery okay so this has to be orange and you only are allowed to touch this with your tested PPE. Don't do it or don't touch it without it because it is really, it has the pure contacts or the direct contact with the high voltage. And it, when something goes wrong and you pull this plug without the gloves, something really seriously bad can happen. So make sure that you only touch this when you have your gloves. Okay, and basically the overall rule, don't just pull anything out, 
just make sure when you have the time and you're not in an emergency case, then make sure that you first uh, refer to the workshop manual, of course, of the car, so of the car, from the car manufacturer, the original documents, or at least the um, rescue card, which gives you safe information about or concrete information how you safely can shut down a high voltage vehicle.